Welcome to Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I am Deb here with your general intuitive messages. I hope you guys are doing well out there and I hope that you find this reading safe. Let's go ahead and get started. If you guys are interested in contacting me, please check out the description box. There's timestamps down there as well, so definitely utilize those. And let's go ahead and begin. <laughs> Cancer, the fourth sign of the zodiac, the first water sign. It uh, starts at the beginning of summer equinox. Cancer is associated with persistency, intuition, imagination, loyalty, caution. Also, um, <clears throat> they're as associated with loyalty as well. They can be sensitive. Sometimes people might see them as suspicious manipulative or insecure that's in a darker portion of the, the cancer energy so i feel like you know cancer is also like fourth house energies y'all which is associated with family and stability and home so if, this got something to do with something that be your family um ties or relationships that are in your family okay so let's keep going <music> tenth house so this is the house of career okay this also can be associated with your mid heaven so it has something to do with a so your social status recognition your achievements, what is your motivation, what's your ambition, and also your public appearance. So I feel like it's almost like you starting to get comfortable with things. I feel like you're starting to feel like at home in the elements that you're working. Maybe you're working in your purpose because it feels like there's this connection that you're making with the purpose that you're you know following you're following your purpose and it's making you feel more at ease so you're manifesting things faster nice okay let's keep going so we have mars the fourth planet from the sun it's the red planet it associates with confidence aggressiveness courage also male sexuality passion energy strength ambition impulsiveness and then also just raw masculinity so interesting i don't know man. <laughs> i feel like you're like attracting some energies towards you because of the energy that you're in being happy with yourself is like drawing like a maybe a physical attraction or or like an energy i don't know how to explain it y'all but we're gonna get some into the cards okay this is what's the news ten of cups and then we got the death card right here so i might be talking to a scorpio or you might have in your chart but if not i just feel like somebody is happy right now that ten of cups maybe you are creating a family maybe you guys are you know having children just living life or this could be you in the future okay let me see we're gonna keep going yeah Somebody is on their purpose, though. They on their mission because I've seen the star card. Be aware that there are some things, some trickery going on. i just seen the seven of swords, but I feel like you shouldn't be worried about it. Yeah, because I feel like somebody going to end up, whoever this is, they might end up getting locked up anyway. So you don't really have to be concerned about it. This energy I'm getting, you just keep following the actions that you're taking because that's what's going to get you to where you need to go, okay? 
Right, exactly. So I feel like there's some, something that you're about to certify or something that you're about to put into works. You're going to solidify yourself in a project or a commitment or you're going to sign a, con a contract with someone. Okay, this is Taurus energy. Five of Cups. You got some energy around you that feels some type of way. This energy feels like they missed out on an opportunity. They feel like they self-sabotaged something. That's what I'm seeing here. Eight of Cups. Yeah, whoever this was, it was like you had to walk away from this person. You had to leave. You couldn't be in this energy with them anymore. You couldn't do it no more. So now this person is kind of like crying over spilled milk with this five of cups yeah see it was like a temptation or this was a low vibrational uh, connection this could have just been like a what some people call a karmic but people say karmic so many times it's like annoying so i don't like to say the word but that's kind of the energy that i'm getting so you had to release yourself from something that was kind of keeping you stuck or bound yeah, this Prince of Cups, this person was immature with their emotions to start with. So they could have had mother problems if they were male. If they're a female, they have father problems. And they don't they refuse to heal it because I mean people have that, but that doesn't mean you get to just live life like, oh well, somebody just messed me up, so I gotta just live like that. You gotta fix it. So they gotta take responsibility. This person's still coming as a prince. <laughs> What's the veil of a set, y'all? Let's see. Ooh, I got it again. The Ten of Unks. So we had the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Unks come out at the same time while I was shuffling. This is meant to happen, man. Wow. Okay. So keep on being patient, okay? Keep being patient. You might have Sagittarius in your chart, but also keep working on whatever project you need to work on. Finish getting stuff uh, uh, certified and stuff like that. I heard certified mail, so if you got to certify some mail, make sure you do that. All right. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Somebody about to go to jail, y'all. I feel prison, actually, because this keeps showing up. It's got something to do with whoever this is that keep trying to mess with this energy. I, it's almost like somebody wants to stop this Hierophant energy from occurring, but it's not going to happen. Okay. So, what's this Five of Cups energy? Let's, let's get to that. Ooh. Okay. Look at this. Five of Scepters, but there's a card that two cards fell out Ooh. look at these two cards y'all emperor and empress this is a destined partnership that's about to come together and there's people that's mad bro whoa they mad look <gasps> yo i didn't even get to cut the deck i didn't even get to cut the deck I didn't even get to cut it. I'm about to shuffle some more. What in the world? So, so somebody is in regret because somebody has found their person. Somebody found the person that they're supposed to be with. Jeez. Okay. Let's keep going. magical people <sighs> wow divine masculine divine feminine energy bro that's what this is like for real let's see what's right here two acceptors i think that you guys both been waiting for something to occur yeah there's been cycles changing going through the purge and stuff like that closing out portals ending things yep 
hermit. I think you both are probably by yourself right now. I feel like you feel each other's energy in like different realms, but I don't think you guys are completely connected. Yeah, see, but the spirit team, the spirit team is looking out for y'all. There's a it's a celebration going on. Yeah, that's beautiful. Let's keep going. What's this, what's the six of cups though? I mean the eight of cups. <sighs> two of scepters so there was a choice and the decision that was made you know i feel like on both ends possibly both of you had to walk away from something that you were emotionally connected to but you had to decide and take action and you did and now you're being protected by the universe you have the comforter there just making sure that that, that you have cheer lightheartedness celebration around you um the nine of scepters energy is kind of like this energy of feeling like a victim so I feel like again back to this five of cups energy somebody feels like now they have to carry this heavy burden because of possibly putting you in a third party situation with the three of unks because the five of cups you know there's three spilt right here so yeah <laughs> they're watching you and it's making them mad the devil what's this devil energy The star, you're the star. You're the star. Eight of scepters. Now somebody feels like they need to talk to you. They got to get something across. Look at this. The nine of scarabs in reverse. Oh, no. So this person feels like they missed out, basically, on somebody that was very independent. Somebody who was very reliable. And... Now this person wants to bring in real communication and try to say that they want to heal a devilish situation. Somebody wants to balance something out. Yeah. But I feel like you're, yeah, you're guarded. That's what I was going to say. You're too guarded. You don't really want to have anything to do with this. You're protecting something that you feel is precious and you're going on your journey. You feel like this person is a distraction. That's what I just heard. Because there's happiness already that's coming in for you. A new beginning in emotions, possibly even. So you're not, yeah, see, if I keep going, there's a devil again. So it's saying you don't want to be distracted by this because you know what's about to come up. What's this Prince of Cups? The Prince of Cups is equivalent to the scribe of, of Onks, y'all. Yeah, it's like... Somebody that you know that can meet you eye to eye is what I'm seeing. The three of scepters. This person has been waiting. Because why? The cycle has ended. There's cycles that are ending. I just told y'all equal reciprocity or seeing eye to eye. Two of onks. That's what somebody wants to do. But someone is in this energy that they have action that they want to take, but they haven't. They haven't completely took it, but they are because the world means that they're going to start a new new beginning. And it's going to be something that they can see eye to eye with. Somebody is done. Somebody is done being in the hermit. Somebody's done just working by themselves. Is the energy that I'm feeling. Somebody doesn't want to work by themselves anymore. They want to work with their partner. Yeah. So they're completing some things, ending some things, going through a purge, whatever y'all want to call it. So they could get to the person that they want to work with. So they can stop having to work by themselves. This Queen of Scarabs energy doesn't want to keep working by herself. She don't want to be in hermit. <laughs> she wants to be with her partner. Oh, somebody ain't happy about that. Let me clean this up. Okay, my bad, but look, y'all, like I was saying, somebody ain't happy about that. It's this Princess of Swords energy and this Prince of Cups energy. And it's crazy because I feel like these two people is like together in some weird old twisted way. So it's like, why are they even worried about y'all? I don't know, but let's get some clarify clarification on the Princess of Swords. Oh, because...
because these people, they don't have any magic and y'all do. They do moon magic. <laughs> Whoever these people is, they do moon magic, yo. They trying to do moon magic on people who are already magical. That's not going to work. See? <laughs> they try to... Okay. So, it's a few different things I'm getting from this. I get that they're doing moon magic in their house and they look dumb. So, they need to go ahead and stop because the universe is looking at them so they see what they're doing. So, they look foolish because it's all it's doing is causing a lot of snakes and they probably having all types of, you know, nightmares. They probably feel like they're dealing with demons or whatever the, you, whatever you want to call something that would be frightening to individuals, right? But it's because of this magic that they be doing in secret behind other people's backs. You know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to mess up or sabotage someone that is happy just because they stuff probably is all types of messed up or whatever this junk is. It's weird, bro. It's real weird. But I feel like this person needs to realize they need to stop because whoever they're doing this to, this person, they actually are a part of the higher being. So it's like, you can't do that. You can't call on the same thing that protects this person to do some harm to them, basically. What's the ace? <laughs> What's the ace of swords? Two of swords, exactly. What did I just say? It's not gonna work, look. And there's still going to be some celebration that's about to come. And all it's going to do is just make somebody irritated. Because uh, you're just going to keep on getting new contracts or making new connections. And also, I feel like whatever business y'all start, because whoever these two people are, these are two business-minded people. So they both got their own they got their own stuff separate, but they coming together. Okay. So whatever's about to happen, like y'all about to be partying, having a good old time with some friends. And yeah, whoever this is, they're going to jail. I already told y'all that. Yeah, it's over with. See? And if th this is what's crazy, though, y'all. I ain't finna hold you up. They got two choices. Go to jail or lay down. Go back go back to sleep. And y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay? Because this is about to happen. This is meant to happen. It was it's meant to happen since the beginning of time is faded. Like, you, can't, you can't mess with fate. Okay? But let's keep going. What's this Ace of Swords? Hey, man. Yeah. They, 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 you're going to be stuck with the truth. Figure that out. Figure out fate. Whoever, whoever trying to, they'll never be able to. Because look, two of scarabs and justice. It's like this person is always going to be trying to hold on to something. But this was justified it's already been justified somebody heart might have i feel like somebody needs to go through like a a change of heart they need to see and open their mind that's what they need to do stop using the same old ways about things what's the magician figure out a, the, the riddle you can't figure out the riddle if you keep saying the same old saying yeah five of um scepters so with this five of scepters energy coming out of the magician, it's like <laughs> all these people trying to attack this one individual just because this person has power and strength, protection, because this person has things that they nurture, things that they take care of, they make good investments, they're able to see the fruits of their labor. Yeah, look, look at that. We back to the Ace of Swords again. It don't matter. Y'all still going to prevail. Like I just told you, I mean, the magician with the Hierophant being right here, this automatically before I even started pulling the cards, I, I knew it was going to be a powerful reading. This is a very, 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 very powerful couple that I'm talking to. Congratulations when you guys do get in contact or if you already are, congratulations. But this is all that I have. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell. Appreciate the energy exchange. Till next time, have a good one. Deuces.